My weirdest school. Book number nine. Mrs. Bard has gone too far. Written by Dan Gutman. Pictures by Jim Pellot. Chapter four. Less is more. I could hardly sleep that night. I kept thinking about how Mrs. Barr tricked us into learning geography. That makes me so mad. No way I'm gonna fall for that again. The next day, Mr. Cooper didn't even try to teach us math. As soon as he saw Mrs. Barr come into the class with her suitcase, he closed his eyes and rubbed his forehead. He sure rubs his forehead a lot. I guess he needs to moisturize. Konnichiwa, Mrs. Barr said as she went over and opened the window. That means hello in Japanese. Have you visited Japan? asked Andrea. I've been there many times, Mrs. Barr replied. Japan is amazing. How about the United States? asked Ryan. Have you traveled around our country? Sure, she replied. I've been all over America. It is amazing. Did you go to the Grand Canyon? asked Emily. No, replied Mrs. Barr. How about Mount Rushmore? asked Alexia. Nope, but I went to the Spam Museum in Minnesota. What? There's a museum about Spam? Ryan asked. Oh, yes, said Mrs. Barr. It is amazing. Did you know that Spam stands for spiced ham? I also visited the largest ball of twine in the world. It's in Kansas, and it's over 10 feet tall. It is amazing. Wait, Mrs. Barr has never been to the Grand Canyon or Mount Rushmore, but she's visited the Spam Museum and a giant ball of twine? That lady is weird. Let's talk about geography, said Mrs. Barr. I know something about geography, said little Miss Know-it-all. The word geography comes from ancient Greece. It means to write or describe the earth. I didn't know that, said Mrs. Barr. Andrea smiled the smile that she smiles to let everybody know she knows something nobody else knows. Let's talk about water, said Mrs. Barr. Did you know that water covers more than two-thirds of the earth? Blah, 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 blah. She went on about water for a million hundred minutes. I was starting to feel sleepy again. Blah, 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 blah. The Nile is the longest river in the world. Blah, 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 blah. Over 4,000 miles long. And blah, 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 blah. I felt like my eyelids had 10 pound weights on them. Blah, 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 blah. Antarctica is the coldest continent. Blah, 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 blah. It's the only continent that gets larger and smaller as it freezes and melts. And blah, 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 blah. Antarctica, 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 Antarctica. The next thing I knew, I was having a wild dream. I'm in Antarctica. There are no schools here. Nobody has to learn stuff. Nobody has to wear a tie or go to tea parties. There are no bedtimes and no Andrea. Nobody is making fun of me. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do in Antarctica. I'm eating frozen pizza because all the pizza is frozen here. I'm running around and playing freeze tag because that's the only kind of tag you can play in Antarctica. My friends are a family of penguins. Tag, you're it. There are lots of water slides and theme parks and candy stores here. You don't have to buy anything. Everything is free. All the toilet bowls are upside down in Antarctica. Wake up, Hey Jay, said Mr. Cooper. Huh? What? 
I picked my head up off my desk. Mrs. Bard was gone. So were all the kids. Where is everybody? I asked. They went to the art room. Mr. Cooper told me you were sleeping so peacefully. I didn't want to wake you. Mr. Cooper and I went to the art room. Our art teacher, Miss Hannah, was in there with Mrs. Bard and all the kids. They were sitting at a big table, and there were feathers, beads, glue, and other art stuff scattered around. Did you have a nice nap, Arlo? Asked Andrea. I ignored her. What are you guys doing? I asked. We're making masks, said Miss Hannah. Different cultures and countries all over the world have worn masks, said Mrs. Barr. For example, in China, Africa, Austria, Mexico, Brazil. Uh oh. She was trying to teach us about geography again. Masks have been used as disguises, or for protection, entertainment, or in religious ceremonies," said Mrs. Barr. "I wasn't paying attention. The oldest mask in the world dates back to eight thousand three hundred B.C.E.," said Mrs. Barr. "I couldn't take it any more." I'm not going to learn anything about masks," I announced. "I'm not falling for that old trick again." "You don't have to learn anything," Miss Hannah told me. "You can just make a mask for the fun of it." "I'm making a carnival mask," said Alexia. "I'm making a surgical mask," said Neil. "I'm making a hockey mask," said Michael. You can make any kind of mask you like," said Miss Hannah. "Be creative. Use your imaginations." The student who makes my favorite mask wins a prize," said Mrs. Barr. "Ooh, I love prizes," said Andrea. "What's the prize?" asked Ryan. "The prize is that I will wear your mask for the rest of the week," said Mrs. Barr. That's a weird prize, but everybody was hard at work on their masks. I didn't know what kind of mask to make. Maybe I was still groggy from my nap. The other kids were almost finished. I didn't want to make a dumb mask. Five more minutes, announced Miss Hannah. Then it's clean up time. Finally, the time was up. All I had was a plain black cloth. That's your mask, dude? Asked Michael. You didn't put anything on it. AJ, your mask is lame, said Neil. All the kids were laughing, like my mask was the funniest thing in the history of the world. Well, I happen to like AJ's mask, said Miss Hannah. It's simple. Sometimes in art, less is more. I think AJ's mask is cool," said Mrs. Barr. "You win the prize, AJ. May I wear your mask for the rest of the week?" "Sure," I said. Everybody stopped laughing. "Ha!" In their face, I made the best mask. So na 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 boo boo on everybody.